All right, let's talk about leveraging lookups in, in Splunk. Uh, some of the things you can do, you can use them as an input lookup. We've discussed that. So I can go input lookup and I can pull back my C, uh, CSV lookups and I can get data back. I can look up KV stores, KV lane, make sure I spell it right. KV lame. I can so I can pull back KVs. I can pull back CSVs. One of the things you want to do, if you look over here in settings, some of the things you can do. We'll go to lookups. I like the way Splunk has laid things out makes things a lot easier, pretty easy. One of the things you can do, you can set put in a lookup. You can add a lookup. Just find the file, it makes a CSV lookup. You can then make lookup definitions. Lookup definitions are really cool because then you can use them at, in your queries to add metadata to the stuff you're looking for. And then ultimately, you can use automatic lookups. We're gonna cover lookup definitions and then we're gonna cover automatic lookups in this video. It's gonna be a little long. Um, if you wanna jump to the different places in the chapter down below, feel free to. Um, for, this, for the sake of this, we're going to use a lookup that I've already added, which is this little lookup here. It's got a bunch of IPs and it identifies things as workstations. And so I wanna be able to add the ability that if I see an IP address of 10.0.0.1, that it will tell me, it'll add the little metadata field that that is a workstation. Kind of almost like a little tagging system, if you wanna call it that. So I'm gonna come in here to lookup definitions and I'm gonna add a new one. I've already loaded the CSV in, and I call, and I'll show you where it's at. I'm going to call this lame CSV, uh, lame demo CSV, and I've got a file based. And if I come down here, we'll see that I actually loaded a file called lame csv demo and i also for, in my video i showed making a lame csv demo too um, things like that using import commands anyway we're just going to grab this lame csv demo we're going to this is the name of the lookup definition i tend to keep them the exact same name you can choose whatever you want but it makes it easier for me to track back and see what it's looking at and then one of the cool things about a lame about these advanced options is you can make hey how many matches need to match uh, to come back maximum number of matches does it need to be do, will it perform case sensitive matches meaning uppercase and lowercase won't match um, a lot of times you want to turn that off the one i really like here is the ability to use wildcard or cider let's say that my csv i could actually go something like this 10.0.0 star and if i use that i could actually use a wildcard and then what's the name of my field I'm looking at source IP, and so I just go source IP and put that in there. And that would allow me to match, not just on an exact match of the, the IP, but on a wildcard using the star as an asterisk. Other things you could do, we can go slash eight. And if I did that, I could flip wildcard to cider, and I could use cider notation. Does the IP address match the cider in the lookup? So you got some really cool features here. Um, we're not going to use that for my example. I just wanted to show that that was some stuff you can do. Feel free to play around with that uh, on your own time. I'll probably do a video using CIDR and Wildcard later. Um, anyway, so I'm going to hit save. I've made sure I've got my app. I've named it. I usually name it, as I said, the exact same name as my CSV. It's a file based. If I was wanting to do it on a KV store, I could do it on a KV store, et cetera. I'm just going to use it on the CSV. I hit save. And now I want to make sure it's available to everyone. So I'm going to go lame demo. And there it is. We can see the way it's written. It's a file. It already pulls out the supported fields. It sees that there's a source IP and a type. So that's kind of neat. You can see what fields your uh, lookup definition have. I'm going to turn the permissions on to global so everyone can use it. So I'm going to give it to all apps. I'm going to give read write permissions to everyone. I'm going to hit save. And now, if I do this, I'm going to come in here, go to lame edu, and we're going to use it as a lookup definition. And so I'm going to come in here, I'm going to index equals lame training, 
and source type equals lame con. I'm just going to go grab the first 10. We can see that I get some IP addresses. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to see, I'm going to do it on the source IP here, and I'm going to, I'm going to do, a, I'm going to attach, use this lookup. And so the syntax for that is lookup. When you want to pull back the lookup file, you use input lookup. But if you want to merge it to an existing set of data like I'm doing here, you use the command lookup. And what you're going to do is we're going to say source IP as source IP. The way this reads is basically it's saying, hey, there's a field here, source IP, and I want it to match. Oh, well, first, I better actually call out my uh, my lookup. That was uh, silly of me. So I'm going to go lame CSV, lame demo CSV dot. And now, because it's a lookup, I do not need to put the dot .csv, dot .csv on there. This It's using the name I set, which did not end in dot .csv. I'm not referring specifically to that .csv file. And so I'm doing it this route. I don't need it. And I'm saying, hey, source IP in here, match it on the source IP over here. And if it does match, I want you to output. And I, I can output any field I want. I'm going to actually output source IP as well. I've found uses where you actually want to re put the same field back out, but I'm going to change its name to matched IP. It's kind of redundant. It's not necessary. We kind of know that the source IP matched because it matched here. But maybe you, I just want to show that you can pull that stuff out. I'm going to remove the head 10 now. And so we're going to write this. And I'm going to do a table. I'm going to do table source IP being this source IP from this data. And I'm going to type and I'm going to do matched IP. OK, so I figured out what I did wrong. I wrote this this wrong. Make sure you do case sensitivity. I have LAME lowercase. I need to make sure I write it the same way. So LA cap, LAME capital. And if I do that, we'll get back results. And I can see the IPs that matched and the IPs that, well, in this case, they all matched. I'm going to flip this. And if I flip this to dest IP, you'll notice this doesn't work. I need to flip, uh, you know, source IP and rename it as dest. The order does matter. The, the first field here relates to the, the, the lookup that, that you just set up. The second field is the field you're pulling out of here. So you're basically saying, hey, look up in here, this field as something from here, and then you output it. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remove this. There's no reason to put this matched IP in there anymore. We don't need it. And we can just unmatched IP erase that and we've done a lookup on there so we've got ourselves set up we're now using a simple lookup we can match on different fields we we showed that when you uh, define this you could do a, a wild card you could do cider notation that's really cool what if i don't want to write a lookup what if i want this to be added every time i do a query i just want this data to always be there that's where automatic lookups come in and so let's actually do an automatic lookup I'm going to come in here, lookups. Again, it's a really nice feature, as Splunk does. We add a lookup file, we create its definition, and then we go to automatic lookups. And in automatic lookups, we're going to go create us a new automatic lookup. We're going to leave it in lame training, and I'm going to call it um, lame auto lookup. It's going to look for that definition that I created earlier. So that lame demo CSV, I'm going to apply it to the source type named. So I want this to, I want this to use this lookup anytime it sees the source type called lame con. And I'm going to, just like we did the lookup fields, the source, the de we're going to do source IP and we're going to do the source IP over here. And so we're going to match on source IP. And I'm going to put in here that the lookup output field is going to be 
type. This is where you can rename it. So if I wanted this to be, I could write this as computer type. The lookup is using the field type. I can change it to whatever I want. I'm going to hit save here. And now we're going to go look automatic. Auto, there it is. I want to give it, make it available to everyone. And now we can see it. It's got a weird long name, but basically it's saying, hey, we're going to use this lame demo CSV, that little uh, that description, source IP as source IP. And this is going to use output new, which is I used output, it's, it's pretty much the same thing, type as computer type. So it's very similar to the query I wrote earlier. And it's just going to apply it naturally to everything I do. So I'm going to duplicate this tab. I just want you to know it does take a while. Have a little bit of patience. You're going to set this up. And the worst thing's going to happen is you're going to think, uh, I'm going to, you're going to go look and run your query. And the results aren't going to be there. And you're going to think you wrote it wrong. No, it just takes a little bit to propagate the whole thing through. Don't worry. if uh, give it 10, 15 minutes, it'll usually run. Um, mine with not a whole lot of data in here shouldn't take that long, but we shall see if, it, if it's gonna work for me or if we need to wait just a little bit longer for it to propagate. But so I'm gonna go back into my index equals lame training and remember that the auto lookup is working anytime on this lame con source type. I said it only works on lame con. So if I go source type equals uh, lame DNS, even if I have a match, I'm not going to get that field. So what's that field I want? I want table, source IP, and computer type. Even though they're going to be in that, um, oops, this is source. Even though they're going to be um, I could have that IP over here, it's not going to match because it's looking in the lame con. So let's put lame con in there. Let's come down here. Let's use the right source IP. And it naturally makes computer type. I don't even have to write the lookup. That's the cool feature about an auto lookup. It'll automatically add that to it. Um, now, if we if we switch, if we use fast mode, it will pull it back. Just remember, the thing is, auto lookups are really, really neat. They make things really fast, but also recognize that if you're not going to use that field in a lot of things, it's still going to do all the processing to add computer type to these fields, even if I'm not going to use it. So make sure if you use auto lookups that you're doing it on a relatively small data source or something, you're consistently using that field. If you don't use that field very often, just use a manual lookup. Uh, you'll be nicer on your uh, Splunk instance, take less CPU and stuff. But if you're going to be doing that all the time, I highly recommend go ahead and do that. So anyway, that is my tutorial on using automatic lookups and all of that, again, settings, lookups, and it has a nice little feature there. You can do lookups, add them, lookup definitions, define them, define the fields, do wildcard matches, cider matches, automatic lookup, make those lookups run automatically without having to write any code. Um, I hope this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up on the video. Um, I would also love it if you subscribe to the channel. Hope this helps you as you're on your journey from being a lame analyst to a cyber and uh, to a Splunk ninja.